Hello, viewers, wherever you are watching from, this is Eagles Devotional, written by Papa and Mama Ayo Oriche Jafo, to speak prophetically into your life on a daily basis. My name is Pastor Omaya Jones, and our topic for today says, Thanksgiving is a revealer. And our text of scripture is taken from Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 11. I read, and our adversary said, They shall not know, neither see, till we come in the midst among them, and slay them, and curse the war to cease. And this is taken from Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 11. I will take a moment to go on a short break when I return. I will continue with this episode on Eagles Devotion. Welcome to the headquarters of the International Gospel Center, Word of Life Bible Church. A place of wonder. A place of grace. A place of favor. A place of greatness. A place of solution. And a place of God's glory. A family to belong. We don't only care about your soul, we care about your total well being. We urge you to be a part of this glorious, heaven bound, blessing on earth family. What of Life Bible Church. Bigger, stronger, and bolder. God loves you, and so do we. Welcome back to today's Eagles Devotional put together by Papa and Mama Ayo or Richard Jaffa. Like I said, our text is taken from Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 11. I read, And our adversary said, They shall not know, neither see, till we come in the midst among them, and slay them, and curse the world to cease. Our topic for today says, Thanksgiving is the secret. Revealer. And I've ever said in Nehemiah 4, verse 11, the Bible records that the adversary said, As I was meditating in my office, God told me that He would put the secret of your adversaries in your heart. Luke 1, Luke 21, 15 also says something which I like to paraphrase in other words to simplify it. I will give you a mouth, and even your enemy shall not be able to resist it. In other words, when he gives you a mouth, mouth your words will be so selective and power packs that they may bind or loose or build or destroy, heal or may heal. You will become God's mouthpiece. You will speak as an oracle and your voice shall be heard. Hallelujah. What our father was trying to say in this place, he said God told him that he is going to give us a mouth. That that mouth no one will be able to resist. That whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Don't forget the text says, the enemy said we shall cause the war to cease. They said they will not know. You see, many times the enemy always assumes that we don't know. But even if we physically do not know, we carry God in us because God in us is the hope of God. We serve a God who sees and knoweth all things. So when the enemy says the war will cease, I, I believe that God is going to do something that will shock our adversaries in the name of Jesus. Who are these adversaries? They are regarded as our opponent. In, in any context, in any conflict, in any battle, in any dispute, anyone opposing your marriage as a single is your adversary. Anyone opposing your being able to conceive is your adversary. Anyone standing with the enemy is your adversary. But I have a word from God to you today. And every of your adversary shall fall 
you shall fail and you shall die in the name of Jesus. Papa said, let me go back to Anna because of her hard pasture. She went to the house of God with her husband to complain at the altar. You may want to ask, Papa, how do you know? The man of God saw her at the altar and asked her, how long will thou be drunk? In 1 Samuel 1.13, do you know that all cries are not genuine? It is, a, a, it is good not to cry to God for help, but do not cry grudgingly. It will amount to complaint. It is good to cry to God for help, but do not cry grudgingly. It will amount to complaint. In Esther 16, a man said, For out of the abundance of complaint and grief have I spoken hitherto. She had so many complaints that she qualified them with the object and abundance. But Prophet Eli consoled her and said, God, God's word upon her. In the name of Jesus. Uh, from the book of Micah chapter 5 verse 9, Micah says, Thy hand shall be lifted up upon thy adversaries, and all thy enemies shall be cut off. Every adversary, anyone opposing to your breakthrough, opposing your promotion, opposing your well-being, whoever they are, where you walk, where you trade, where you sell, I bind them in the name of Jesus. I rebuke their powers. I cut off their hands of witchcraft from your home, from your destiny, in the name of Jesus. For further reading, I want to take down the scripture. First Samuel 1, 13 to 17. Second Samuel 20 to 24. I believe that God has spoken to you today, and God is about to do great things in your life. They thought that they would be able to plan in secret. But whatever they were planning in secret, God saw it and God exposed it. Every conspiracy against your life, every wicked plan and dangerous plan shall be exposed in the name of Jesus. Please repeat this words after me. Say, I decree by the authority in the name of the resurrected Christ that any man, woman, boy, or girl, or group of persons who declare himself, herself, or themselves as my enemies. Enemies will end up as my footstool. I also like to read a word of wisdom for today. It says, Your adversary is a man or a woman who uses what you do not have against you. For that reading, check the scripture of 1 Samuel 1. 13 to 17, 2 Chronicles 20, verses 14 to 19, in the name of Jesus. I believe you are blessed. I believe God has spoken to your heart, and God is going to reveal every secret plot behind your misfortune. But first, you must learn to thank Him. You must learn to worship Him. You must learn to appreciate Him and offer Him thanks. And I assure you, this will be your best month ever. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray.